Yeah, currently I'm doing the first print with my printer bot plus. Uh, this is a version 2.1. Uh, the 2.1 basically adds the extra controller over here on the side that allows me to print from a micro SD card. The, the main problem currently with the micro SD card is that it's in the back under the print um, the print base so that you have to turn the machine upside down and use a pair of needle nose pliers to get at it. So I've currently got this I mean, running on a uh, cable over to my laptop over there where I'm uh, uh, running a printer face uh, to do the printing. I use Cura to do the uh, slicing. Um, right now I'm printing a uh, Nautilus gear. Um, some people from the um, Steampunk Empire and Welcome to Steampunk were asking me about I mean gears and stuff and this is the 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 new printer I'm uh, doing some printing for this. I've got some other gears and stuff that I had printed previously on a different printer. I mean these green gears I had made on a uh, Cubify cube. I found that I really didn't like the cube uh, because of the cost of operation. I mean it's a nice little printer. I mean cost Twelve seventy five on Amazon.com. It's basically plug and play, but the cartridges were um, about fifty bucks each for 0.7 pounds. Where I mean the the filament that I've got here on the spool that I put together from I mean uh, piping from um, Home Depot. Uh, I mean this spool is. Uh, one kilo and it costs thirty dollars, so it's a lot more affordable. Um, I went and bought a copy of this Suave uh, Extreme Hold um, hairspray. I mean to uh, treat the printer base with because the filament wasn't sticking onto the the glass. I had tried using some. Uh, of this uh, blue uh, painter's tape, and I mean, at at the time that I was doing it, it, it I mean, just wasn't sticking. I may have needed to have used some of the hairspray on top of the the painter's tape also. I mean, the painter's tape would make it easier to to come off the printer. I mean, off the the print base. But I mean, once I got this thing calibrated, which took about an hour, I mean, it worked pretty well. Um, the one problem that I really, well, the second problem that I really had with this thing is that the, the, um, you've got these hex cubes, or the hex cube screws in the corners, I mean, to, uh, um, level the, the print base, I mean, there's four of them on here, this is a, a heated base, but the, when I'm leveling the base, I mean, I couldn't, actually put the print head in the corner because the it was covering over the, the screw so I had to basically I mean just I mean level the base I mean through the center using printer face to, to move it 10 millimeters at a time back and forth through the center I mean to print it I mean which was fairly reasonable since I mean the the, the center area where the, I'm printing right now is the main area that I'm going to be printing at anyhow um, so far, I've been fairly uh, happy with the, this printer. I mean, it's a nice looking printer. A couple of points that I mean, I found rather unusual was that on the armature for the Z axis, you've got, I mean, two motors, one on this end and one on this end, uh, so that each end is separate. You've got a screw or, or a bolt that's running on the the threaded rod, I mean, the, I mean, each end is sitting on, so that it's actually possible to have this thing sitting uh, cockeyed if it's, uh, I mean, not properly, I mean, evenly adjusted on both sides. I mean, you've got this fan here that, I mean, that uh, cools the the filament as it's being printed. I mean, so that I mean that's running pretty well. 
This has a um, 0 0.4 millimeter uh, hot point. Um, I'm using uh, 1.75 millimeter PLA uh, plastic.